the peripheral nervous system. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to know the following. 1. Peripheral nervous system. 2. Somatic and autonomic nervous systems. 3. The neurons, structure and function. 4. Classification of neurons. 5. Transmission of nerve impulses. The peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system, PNS, comprises two main divisions. The sensory system, which includes receptors and nerves connecting all body parts to the central nervous system, CNS, and the motor system, consisting of nerves running from the CNS to the effectors. The PNS consists of 12 cranial nerves, connecting the brain to the head and neck region, and 31 spinal nerves, connecting the spinal cord to the thorax, abdomen, and limbs. The motor system is further divided into the somatic and autonomic nervous systems. Somatic and autonomic nervous systems. The somatic nervous system, SNS, consists of motor, efferent, neurons that connect the CNS to skeletal muscles. It controls voluntary actions and enables responses to external stimuli involving body parts. The autonomic nervous system, ANS, consists of motor, efferent, neurons that connect the CNS to glands, smooth muscles, and cardiac muscles. It regulates involuntary activities such as heart rate and respiratory movement. The ANS is divided into two subdivisions, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, which have opposing functions. A. The sympathetic nervous system consists of nerves that connect internal organs to the thoracic and lumbar regions of the spinal cord. It dominates during emergency and exertion, regulating mechanisms like vasodilation, vasoconstriction, and sweat gland secretion. B. The parasympathetic nervous system consists of nerves that connect internal organs to several cranial nerves and spinal nerves in the sacral region. It dominates during normal relaxed periods. The neurons, structure and function. Neurons, or nerve cells, are the fundamental units of the nervous system, responsible for transmitting impulses within the body. Each neuron consists of several basic parts. A cell body, soma, this contains a large nucleus and dense granulated cytoplasm, giving it a grayish color. It relays received impulses from dendrites to the axon, B dendrites. These are short extensions or processes branching from the cell body, forming numerous branches called dendrites. They carry nerve impulses received from sensory receptors and other neurons. C axon. This is a long process that branches at the end and terminates at synaptic knobs. Axons carry electrical impulses away from the cell body to their destinations, often over long distances. They may divide into branches, allowing impulses to reach multiple locations. In some cases, an axon is surrounded by a fatty sheath called the myelin sheath, which acts as an electrical insulator and increases the speed of impulse transmission. The myelin sheath is interrupted at intervals by constrictions known as nodes of Ranvier. Classifications of neurons. Neurons are commonly classified according to their functions in vertebrates. A. Sensory, afferent, neurons transmit impulses from receptors to the CNS. B. Motor, efferent, neurons transmit impulses away from the CNS to effectors such as muscles and glands. C. Relay, association or intermediate, neurons, connect the pathways of sensory and motor impulses, and are mainly found in the central nervous system. Transmission of nerve impulses. Nerve impulses are transmitted along neurons through electrical signals within nerve fibers and chemical signals across synapses. The process involves three phases. A. Resting state. A state when a neuron is not transmitting an impulse. The nerve fiber is electrically polarized, with excess sodium ions, Na+, outside the cell, and excess potassium ions, K+, inside the cell. This polarization creates a positive charge outside, and a negative charge inside the cell. B. Action state. 
When dendrites receive impulses, the neuron becomes depolarized, and the cell membrane allows the inflow of sodium ions and outflow of potassium ions. The cell body then transmits the impulse to the axon. See transmission between neurons. Transmission between neurons occurs through chemical means. When an impulse reaches a synapse, it stimulates the secretion of acetylcholine, a chemical substance that transmits the impulse to another neuron or muscle fibers. Evaluation 1. Graphically outline the nervous system. 2. State five functions of both the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. 3. Differentiate between the somatic and autonomic nervous systems. 4. What is a neuron? 5. Differentiate between afferent and efferent neurons.